Welcome back. We all love backyard barbecues, barbecues, <laughs> kicking us uh, into high gear during the summer. What do you do with the leftovers after the weekend is over? Actually, at my house, we don't usually have leftovers. I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. But what do you do with the leftovers? But if you need an answer for that, we have a, an answer for you. We are joined by Nicole Meyer, cookbook author, business owner, and food Hello. personality behind Nibbles by Nick Hi. to help give us some confidence in the kitchen and get those meals yeah. reincarnated into something else. Yes. That's just it. Barbecues are wonderful, but mm. what about the leftovers? Okay. I can't stand letting leftovers sit in the refrigerator and letting them go to waste. Okay. No, no waste. No so waste. we're going to use them. No waste. Let's love we're our leftovers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So here we're going to start with a do-it-yourself poke bowl. Brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is use our leftover kebabs. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all love chicken and beef kebabs, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't want to let them sit in the fridge and wilt away. So what I like to do is make a poke bowl. Poke bowls are so hot, so trendy, and so mm -hmm. healthy right now, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Now what I did is instead of rice, I took cauliflower and rice that, and I used quinoa. So it wasn't oh. so heavy. Wait, I wait, thought wait. That was how do you rice. how do you rice cauliflower? Well, you smash the, it up. Well, we're also busy, right? right? Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. So there's different ways, that, simple ways that mm -hmm. we can actually rice our cauliflower. Like okay. we can defrost it. Okay. We buy a freezer, a bag of cauliflower. Yeah. We can buy it in the produce section. Uh -huh. We don't have to sit there and grate it anymore. We're busy right. moms, right? right. So okay. we don't have time for so that. So it comes like this. Comes like Done. that. All right. Okay. All right. Good. So we, good to know. So it's the one you got so pineapple, you got pineapple, cucumbers. You got cucumber. And this is great for children also, right? Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. kids love to design and build their own things. So this is a great way for kids to get involved, pick and choose. Mm -hmm. You've got your veggies and the sweet pineapple, which is so luscious and delicious. So colorful too. Right. Beautiful. With the meat. Mm -hmm. With Put the it meat. all together sweet, with everything. Savory. Delicious. Quinoa or cauliflower. You're genius. That's okay, right. Nicole, what's this? And moving right along here, we have a barbecue chicken slaw. Mm. Okay, now barbecue chicken is so wonderful and it's probably one of my favorites. Now what I like to do is save the extra barbecue chicken, mm -hmm. shred it up, and put oh. it into a pre-made slaw. Okay. Okay. So this is just wow. like bag slaw. This, this whole dish is five ingredients. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've got our barbecue chicken. We have our slaw. We mm -hmm. have some dry roasted peanuts on top, as you can mm -hmm. see, which gives it a oh, great texture it. and crunch. Okay. Right? okay. And the dressing is, is just a reduced fat mayo and a little barbecue sauce. Wow. So here we have a five ingredient dish. Now this is great for work, Delicious. if we're busy, right. or on the go, it's budget friendly, mm -hmm. it's it's figure friendly as well. Fantastic. Yes. I gotta eat some of that. Yes. Okay, so what is what is this? What's okay. this? Okay, so grilled vegetables. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of grilled eggplant and zucchini, right? Yeah. Now what I like to do is save some of the leftovers, mm -hmm. okay, and layer them into a lasagna. The best Perfect. part is That's it's okay. noodle free. Okay. So no noodles. Right. And no breading. All we did was layer a little bit Excuse of me. Sorry, sneezing. a little ricotta cheese. Right. A little uh -huh. tomato sauce. Some shredded mozzarella. Some Italian seasoning. And then we top it with mm. just a little panko crumbs to give it some crunch. Just a little crunch. Low Shake carb. it up. Low carb. Yeah. Freezes beautifully and it also yeah, is make ahead. So you make Delicious. it ahead and serve it during the week. It's a no-brainer. And it brainer. tastes better and better. It it's like the Thanksgiving leftovers. Like better. a week later, you're well, like, why didn't I serve it. this? That's just it. Well